Well, the next fight that is going to be my favorite fight is Rafael Ramos Estevam and Joao Elias. Rafael Ramos Estevam, 10-0, 26 years of age, 5 foot 7, 69 inches of reach, Novo Niao fighter. And he is a shoot boxer, a shoot boxer with excellent Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Now, people wanted to say that he is not a finisher. But at LFA bout, I was pretty much surprised because I was imagining him as a stand up fighter. And then he came against Felipe Estevez and grounded and pounded his way through him. And I was like, what the heck, you know? I knew about his shoot boxing skills, I knew about his BGG and his big powerful punches. But now, Joao Alas. Alicate 17-3-1-5-3, flyweight fighter out of Curitiba, Parana, Brazil. João Elias was having ups and downs, lost to Alejandro Caetano, defeated Genito Matos, Rodrigo Serafian, and Matos Gabriel. He is also very excellent with BGG, but he is not a better striker than uh, Ramos Estevam, so I am also going to favor uh, Ramos Estevam for this. But the problem is the fact that Ramos Estevam is not a guy who will fish for a knockout 100%. And Joao Elias can take a beating. He lost via rare naked choke once. He lost via guillotine choke once. Lost via knee, but he can take a beating. So I'm going to say fight starts round 3. If I must pick a side, going with Rafael Ramos Estevam.